Hey, what's going on guys? Nick here with some news regarding the Gambit movie. So, recently we've been hearing about the possibility of Channing Tatum actually trying to direct Gambit at this point because pretty much so many directors and writers have come to the project and tried to make it work over the years and nothing has really been able to show for it. And right now it looks like Disney and Fox, the merger is closing any day now, so they're really trying to push this forward any way they can. During a new interview with Comics beat, Rupert Wyatt, who was the first director tasked to helm Gambit, actually talked about how his project fell apart and how close it was actually to being made and the reason it actually fell apart. Wyatt said, quote, I was very close with Channing Tatum and his producing partner Reed Carolyn, and I was on the script with him and Josh Zedmer as well. We were close, I believe 10 weeks away. It simply came down to budget. There was not enough. You know all too well about the politics of the business. Fantastic Four had been released by Fox a month before and had not gone well for them, so our budget was slashed quite considerably. The inevitable, from my perspective, was, well, then we need to rewrite the script to tailor our new budget, but we were too close to a start date for Fox to really want to go there, so unfortunately it just didn't work out. The rumor was that their budget was actually around $150 million, which is kind of insane when you think about it for a Gambit standalone movie. So it looks like Fantastic Four had more ripples than we originally thought. It didn't just tarnish the brand of those characters, but it also created new hurdles for Fox to get past with regards to their X-Men Marvel spin-off movies. Post your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you guys think of this news? Fant 4 stick was the reason that Gambit has been delayed all this time. For more updates on the Gambit movie, the Disney Fox merger, and everything pop culture, be sure to subscribe to HN Entertainment.